If you want to build more muscle in less time, start using supersets. Agonist antagonist supersets are a smarter way to train compared to straight sets. Watch this video to learn the science and make your workouts far more effective. Straight sets are when you focus only on one exercise. With this approach, you're completing all of your sets with normal rest periods. Afterwards, you move on to the next exercise in your workout. This normal training technique takes longer and builds less muscle. I'll explain why later on in this video. Agonist antagonist supersets are when you alternate two exercises using different muscle groups. Your rest period comes after the pair of exercises have been completed. Supersets have been shown not only to save time, but also grow more muscle compared to traditional training. For the upper body, the most common approach is a pull followed by a push. This superset works well because we're alternating gross movement patterns and muscle groups in an agonist antagonist manner. This strategy is perfect for people with busy schedules or personal trainers who wanna pack in as much as possible into their workout schedule. Now guys, it's very important that you rest for the correct amount of time when you're doing supersets. Most people make the mistake of not resting long enough. This hinders performance and reduces muscle gain. On the other hand, some people take too long with their rest periods, which is wasted time. When you finish one exercise, it's ideal to move immediately onto the next exercise. The research suggests that we should not be resting any longer than 60 seconds between exercise pairs. We need to get moving when doing supersets to gain the muscle building and time saving benefits. However, if you're someone with poor cardio, feel free to catch your breath for a moment between exercises. The reason for this short rest period between sets is we want your neuromuscular system being the limiting factor, not your ability to suck in that precious oxygen. <laughs> Okay, but what about how long to rest after both exercise sets are finished in the superset? The good news is the science has the exact optimal rest period that you should be doing during supersets. If you only rest one minute before the next superset, the training volume possible is lower, yet our workouts finish sooner. Three minutes is the absolute sweet spot for agonist antagonist supersets. This allows for the greatest training volume and is still time efficient. Why three minutes? Because this time regenerates sufficient ATP to fuel our upcoming set. Rest intuitively if you have training experience. You'll have a natural awareness of when you feel ready to go, which should be approximately three minutes on average. Use a timer if you're a beginner or tend to rush into your next set without full recovery. Stopwatch is recommended if your set to set performance is dropping drastically. This is a sign you're probably not getting our three minute recommendation. Now, what's the best way to make use of your rest time between sets? You've got to smash the thumbs up button on all fitness FAQs videos, of course. This provides enhanced recovery. Three main benefits that you're going to gain when using supersets. Supersets offer greater performance. This is represented in the real world by being able to do more volume compared to straight sets. The volume enhancing effect of agonist antagonist supersets is not movement or muscle group specific. This means it can be an effective strategy for other areas of the body that you're wanting to train. Do you want to grow bigger arms? Superset triceps and biceps. Do you want to grow bigger legs? Superset quads and hamstrings. All right, let's move on and discuss the reasons why supersets are so effective. There's likely a benefit which takes place when preloading our antagonist muscles. For example, our back muscles potentiate our chest muscles and vice versa, making them stronger compared to simply doing one movement before the other. Here's where the science isn't quite clear on the exact reason why supersets work. Supersets may augment inhibition, reducing the protective limit on our muscles output, which allows us to tap into improved performance. Perhaps we're benefiting from the enhanced co-contraction of our muscles, performing better thanks to complementary muscle contractions. Otherwise, the science suggests that we're getting changes to our Golgi tendon reflex and perhaps enhanced elastic energy recall from our muscles. On a more practical level, supersets probably help us get rid of the metabolic byproducts in the bloodstream. As one set of muscles rests while the other works, 
we're literally pushing our joints through passive range, which is going to flush all of that metabolic waste from our muscles and assist in that recovery. Why more volume with supersets? You're actually resting longer. The working muscles are resting during one of the exercises and the rest period between supersets. Contrast this with straight sets, where the working muscles are only resting during the rest interval before the next set. This counterintuitive situation is probably the driving factor behind why more volume is possible with supersets. Food for thought. Oh, guys, I'd love to know what your favorite superset is. Let me know what movement coupling or muscle groups work best for you. Supersets are not a panacea for training. Here's when they don't work. If you're training a complex movement pattern which involves a high skill and or balance component, don't superset. Here's an example. You wouldn't want to be supersetting pull-ups and handstand push-ups. The residual fatigue would definitely impact your pushing potential. Supersets are definitely not a good choice if you're training low rep ranges at a high intensity relative to your one rep max. Training at this level of effort requires your full focus and energy. The preceding movement would likely limit your performance at such a high neuromuscular intensity. Straight sets are ideal for intensity training at high levels of effort relative to your one rep max. Supersets are ideal for volume training, as we've discussed in this video. All right, here's the major takeaways for agonist antagonist supersets. One, you save time. Alternating movement patterns or muscle groups make smart use of rest periods, decreasing total time spent between sets and finishing your workouts much faster. And two, you benefit from greater volume. This makes supersets a superior choice for hypertrophy compared to straight sets. The extra fatigue actually helps and doesn't hinder. All right, everyone, consider supersets if you want the best of all worlds. Saving time and building more muscle.